Hello, third graders. It's Ms. Volpe from Juniata Gap. I'm so excited to be the lucky teacher who gets to do today's ELA video lesson because, believe it or not, we've come to the end of bend one of our animal research unit. Remember, we call those little sections in our units bends. And guys, that's a big deal. You've made it through a whole bend and reading workshop and all completely online while we're all at home. Even though things are really different right now, you're still doing your job of learning each day and you should be really proud of yourself. So that means we have to celebrate all the things that we've accomplished so far in this unit. Okay, but first, let's look back on the skills we've been working on as researchers in this unit so far. So we have talked about getting ready to research. We've talked about picking a, one subject, one subtopic to, to study really hard. We talked about synthesizing or combining information when we read about the same animal in multiple texts, uh, talking with others and taking notes. We know there's a lot of special vocabulary that goes with certain subjects, so we talked about using those and about thinking your own thoughts. So now for a little fun. You're going to make an animal poster to show us and celebrate all of the things that you've learned about one animal. Now, before anyone worries about not having poster board or not having good markers or anything like that, don't worry. This can be done with a pencil and a piece of notebook paper. It can even be done outside with sidewalk chalk. If you have a computer that has some sort of program where you can design something, you can do that. It can really, really be anything, it's fine. We just wanna see you represent what you've learned in your animal research in a fun and creative way. So here's what you have to have on your poster the name of an animal you've researched, at least four subtopics about that animal, and then at least two pieces of information for each subject topic. And you can include pictures and visuals if you'd like to, and you have the materials that you need. I know most of my students at Juniata Gap love including pictures whenever they can, so do I. And you'll also have to think about everything you've learned about your animal and really narrow it down to some of the most important pieces of information, but really have fun with it. I wanna show you a poster that I made about orca whales, because I've been reading a lot about them during our research unit. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movies called Free Willy. They're kind of old now, but they were movies about orca whales, and I have always loved orca whales ever since I was about your age and watched those movies. So I really enjoyed doing my research on them. So as you can see by looking through the poster, the subtopics that I've chosen are families, food, what the whales eat, size, because they're very big, and then I just had a category of other facts that didn't really fit with, with other things. Um, and you can see, you know, you can take a look at some of the pieces of information that I have decided to include. I also added some extra pictures where I thought it'd be helpful. And I labeled my pictures with some body part names because that's another thing I learned about. So even though I didn't make a whole category about their body parts, I just labeled them on my picture because that's something that I learned about as I was researching. And also, even though my poster doesn't have paragraphs written or even complete sentences, I could tell you all about any of the things that I wrote because I've done the research just like you have with your animal. So your actual information can be more like jot dots. They don't have to be complete sentences. But I know that I had a lot more fun making this than if I had to just write a list of facts on a piece of paper. So that I hope you have fun making yours as well. But before we go, we want to see your posters when you're finished with them. So if you would be willing to share your animal poster with the rest of the third graders in our district, you can ask a parent or grown up to send a picture of your work to this email address on the screen. Um, and we might even show some of them in a future ELA video. So we really can't wait to see what you've learned and see what creative ways you've come up with to make your posters and represent what you've learned. That's all for now. Have fun. See you guys.